The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, said its Sokoto State Zonal Office has arrested two Chinese for offering a sum of 15 million naira as bribe to its zonal head, Abdullahi Lawal. The EFCC, in a statement by its spokesperson, Dele Oyewali, disclosed that the suspects were arrested in Sokoto. According to him, the bribe was allegedly offered in a desperate bid to compromise ongoing investigations of a construction company, China Zogao Nigeria Limited, handling contracts awarded by the Zamfara state government to the tune of 50 billion naira between 2012 to 2019. The spokesperson further disclosed that the Zonal Office of the Commission is investigating the construction company in connection with the execution of contracts for the construction of township roads. We still have Dayo Lomuagu, public affairs analyst, here joins us via Skype. Thank you uh, for staying with us. My pleasure, thank you. What is your thoughts on this development coming at a such a time? Uh, so I, I think uh, we should give some credit to the EFCC. Uh, it shows that they are doing a good job. And uh, But having said that, I, I also want to comment that uh, 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 they are only suspect, and we, we need to go through the prosecution process uh, to see that they are convicted, if really they are guilty of that, whatever offense or, or, or crime they have been charged with. Uh, so, yes, the EFCC has done a great one by getting them arrested, by, 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 by bringing the, 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 the case to the fore, but we should not think, they should not think the law into their hand. They should allow the, the, the prosecution process to go as expected, and uh, ultimately, because we also need to be careful such that uh, it won't be like a repressive thing that we're doing to China. We saw how they treated our national in, 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 in a while ago. And it won't be that Nigeria is just uh, trumping all these things against them. So we, we, now the EFCC has done a good job by getting these people arrested. Uh, the process should be allowed to run uh, to, the, to a conclusive point where... Uh, we can know whether they're guilty or not, and they, 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 whatever punishment that, 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 that they should face, they are, they are allowed to face under the law of Nigeria. Um, if we have cases like this coming up, does it suggest that so much of due diligence was not carried out? Uh, unfortunately, we, we, we are in Nigeria, and we, we, we hope we are making progress. Uh, I mean, again, it's a shame uh, of uh, possibly what we have in, in government or in some corner, in some uh, area of our governance, where uh, a contract of such magnitude uh, would be awarded. I mean, you, you begin to ask what due diligence was done and how how is this contract or how are they picked in the first place? How, what is the selection process look like? Uh, is that I just give it to somebody because I wanted to give him or, uh, you see, the, the procurement act, whatever it, 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 we will have in Nigeria, I will really follow in this. I mean, because clearly if, if, if those are followed, I mean, pretty followed, a lot of this, a, all this thing we have discovered, we have I mean, it, it, we've been discovered long ago and we wouldn't have come to this point. Uh, but now that we have come to this point, it's a week of call, you know. Uh, 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 you, 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 we got to, we got to. We, I mean, the laws are there, the guidelines are there, the acts are there. But how many of these have been followed, or how often do we follow this? And that's why we always run into a problem. But now that the FCC has done this, let them get to the concluding. I mean, do, I mean a, a, do a professional work, go through the protocol process and all that. And uh, we, I mean, but again, we should be talking to ourselves as Nigeria. Okay. If our system is not porous, if our whatever is not porous, I mean, the Chinese won't come and be messing them up. All right. Looking at a larger picture away from now, from developments like this, should we not be looking inwards and maybe at developing our local personnel to be sure that huge contracts like these can be handled by Nigerian contractors? Again, like I mentioned, it is the, is the procurement process. Unfortunately, in most cases, when you give it to an uh, expatriate company from China, from all over the places, uh, it is still the Nigerian people that are engaged to do it. Uh, uh, so you wonder what changed. In fact, in fairness, uh, uh, most of these expatriates, they still need to listen to Nigerian. It's the Nigerian content that's helping to execute this project. So the question is, don't we have an indigenous company that can handle this project? Definitely they are. But again, uh, our procurement process, where we have a preference for 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 anything uh, external, anything foreign. We have a preference for that in Nigeria. And uh, again, I don't know whether it is in in a way to 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 
to to to to be fraudulent it, it is in a way to bypass a few a bypass a few control uh i mean such that along the line uh the the, the these issues will not come to for to to, to 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 the limelight so i, I don't know the, the rationale for that but i think it is unfortunate that every time uh, yes, in fairness to, to the foreign company, we have foreign companies that are doing very well, that are doing very good job. But when it comes to a uh, situation where because they are foreign, even if nobody knows them, even if it's just, I mean, a, a person just carrying a portfolio around and uh, but because it's brought a foreign company and you say it's the one that gets the job. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Again, a boss to what laws do we have on brand? Right. Who is following this law? At the at the National Assembly, I mean, at the House of Assembly, are they empower to actually track things? Are they empower the, the enforcement agents? What are they doing? Dio, I, I'm I, afraid. I think it's a holistic thing we should look at in the country. Thank you very much. I wish we had more time to talk on this subject, but we hope to have you more uh, on the news to stay with us. Thank you very much. I'm grateful for having you having me. Thank you.